Hello, everybody. Did you miss me? It's been a little while, but that's fine. I'm back again to make some friggin' good food for gamers. The last video or so was just like regular pleb food, but we're back to gamer food because that's what this, this is all about. Gamer. Most gamers will probably know what this particular thing is because you've probably eaten a banquet meal or a hunger man sometime in your life. So it won't be too surprising when you go and try to make your own Salisbury steak. Honestly, I thought that Salisbury steak was something made up by like uh, frozen dinners or something like that. And also just used in the show South Park from Chef. But no, it's an actual thing that people make and uh, yeah, it's really, really good. So um, we're going to make it here today. What you're gonna need to make this steak. First ingredient, of course, beef, mushrooms, salt, pepper, onion, eggs, ketchup. I add a little bit of barbecue sauce to mine. Olive oil, a pan, a spatula, measuring cup, one fourth, a mixing bowl, and also some sort of baking vessel. This is a bleh by bleh measurement. And a cutting board to cut up your onion and your mushrooms. Let's go. First thing that we need to do is cut up these onions and cut up these mushrooms. Get this colossal, look how big this onion is. This is huge. This is like as big as my face. It's huge. I've never seen a red onion this big. Wash it off first. Now that the onion is clean, chop it. Sufficiently chopped. You know what? I don't want to do this. I don't want to cut all this up. I'm going to be lazy. Okay, everyone? I'm going to be really lazy. Arr! We're going to be lazy, and we're just going to plug this in and uh, going to chorp this up in the ninja. Put all the onions in the ninja. And... Look how chopped that is. Like, instantly. Like, instantly chorped. Instantly. Okay. Get your pan. Turn on your stove. Get about half a cup of onions. And go ahead and saute those up really quick. In a little bit of olive oil. We're sauteing these up to add them to the meat. So we want to saute them up before we do the meat. So that way, you know, they're sauteed and yummy and delicious. Rinse your cutting board off and get out the mushrooms. Wow. You can cut them up like as small as you want, but uh, you need eight ounces for this particular thing. Just kind of, you know, ah, I can't get a good because this isn't the right kind of knife to do it with. Gordon Ramsay, I need your help. He's like, you need a bigger knife, mate. Yeah, Gordon Ramsay, I need your help. You need a bigger knife, mate. You need a bigger knife. Why is he so strange? He is because, because English and Australia are the same thing, essentially. They both go, mate. They both call women Shyla, and they're both British. Don't cut yourself. Keep your, keep, keep this hand away. Like, don't even, don't even, in fact, tie it behind your back. You're a gamer, you can do this with one hand. Look at this. Wow! Done! Don't forget to stir the onions just a little bit, just to make sure that they don't burn up. Now, let's prepare the meat! Throw it on the counter. Stab it. Open the package. Take all of that and put it in... The bowl! We're using an 85 lean, 15 fat blend, so we're actually going to, uh, we're actually going to add a little bit of oil to it, uh, which we usually don't, I usually don't do, but, um, this is a, uh, like, ethically raised, uh, humanely raised, uh, brand and everything, and they didn't come in 80-20, so, uh, I wanted to get it. You know, so I'll just have to add a little oil. It's not a big deal. One pound of beef. Now punch it. See this crater right here? This crater? 
this nice crater, that's where you put the sautéed onions. Just put put the put the onions in that crater. Yeah, right in that crater. See how they're caramelized just a little bit? Yeah. Put the onions in that crater that you made. And punch it again. Ow! <laughs> it's hot. Now mix it all up. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. What? No. Do not be flinging raw meat I'm all not over this kitchen. Raw meat. None of it has gotten out. Uh some's on your hand, on the top of your hand. No. We have animals in our house that'll eat it. Yeah. And get salmonella it. and die. Salmon bell. Salmonella and, and beef. Maybe you get E. coli and die. They'll get E. coli is in poop, I thought. Look at whatever's in raw meat. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. Dang it! I forgot about the fact that I gotta wash my hands and uh I have to get us I'm good. Yeah, uh, I'll figure it out. Hey, got him! Add a little oil to the pan. Add an egg. This will help to keep the patties the steaks. I'm sorry, they're steaks. They're not patties, they're steaks. It'll help keep them together. This looks like the monsters from Stranger Things. Like I wanted to like just like build a giant like meat monster with this, and uh, you know it'll be you know, I'll be asked to uh, make monsters for the next Stranger Things season if there ever is one. All right, that looks good enough. That looks that looks good. Time to start forming these uh, these steaks. So I'm gonna use the burger press again, which actually kind of made um, too big of steaks, uh, but I just cut them in half afterwards. Like I said, I'm really bad at um, forming any kind of like patty at all. So this this is this is my cheat method. Come on, no. don't. You don't really need to press that hard. I mean, because these, you know, you're obviously you're not making burgers, burgers. Uh, but you do need to make sure that, like, you know, you're, uh, making them pretty solid. This should make probably four, I think. Three or four. We'll see. Last time I did it, it made three. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. This, I think I made them a little too thick last time, so this one might make four. There's definitely enough to make four. We're gonna make four, everyone. Four. There's, there's, there's another, there's another Stranger Things monster right there. Okay, now... The pan is hot, and let's just go ahead and start adding these in. And wash your hands, please. Turn your oven to 350 degrees. Probably should have done that earlier, actually, but we didn't. So, you know, uh, that's the, you know. <laughs> the point of putting these in the pan is not really to cook them. It's just to brown them. So don't leave them on there for too long, because they're actually going to cook in the oven. Okay, now brown the other other side and uh, get your salt and pepper. Last time I salted them uh, before I made patties, uh, and they didn't stay together very well. And I read somewhere that if uh, you salt them before you make them into patties while it's still like raw meat, uh, if you salt and pepper them, that makes them not stay together so well. So I'm trying it differently. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna work. We'll find out though. Something I forgot. Bouillon cubes, beef bouillon cubes. You need, you need, you, you need that. Okay, these I believe are sufficiently browned. So we're just gonna take them out now, put them in the baking dish. All right, and this is what I mean by just browned. You don't want them cooked all the way through. Just, uh, just, just cooked a little bit on the surface. Okay, a little more oil. Not a lot. Just, uh, just, uh, just a little bit. Take your mushrooms. Pour them all in there right now. Get them in there. Yes, delicious mushrooms. Remember those onions from earlier? Part. We're gonna need our friend salt again. Salt actually helps mushrooms like release their moisture or something like that. So uh, mushrooms actually need a little bit of salt for them to uh, cook right or taste right or soften up or something. They need salt, okay? So add salt. 
Yes, look at that. Look at those onions and mushrooms. They're just in there. Starting to, you know, uh, get some deliciousness going on. It's gonna be absolutely great. Now, a few things to help make this delicious gravy that Salisbury steak is known for. You're gonna need some sea force water, a quarter cup, brought her. Actually, a quarter cup is just to make like a standard amount of gravy. We're gonna make a lot of gravy uh, because I'm also gonna make some uh, mashed cauliflower uh, to go with this later. So I'm gonna make a lot of gravy. So I'm actually gonna do half a cup of water but I'm gonna give you the standard measurements. One beef bouillon cube. Bouillon cube, beef bouillon. Three quarter cup of ketchup. Or actually just a quarter cup of ketchup, but I'm doing three quarters of a cup because I want the extra gravy. I meant half a cup of, I've been advised only uh, only half a cup of, uh, of ketchup. We're using the Whataburger spots of ketchup because you know, we're in Texas and everything. And then a, uh, quarter cup of your favorite barbecue sauce. We're using a uh, Kentucky bourbon. All right, and then stir that up. Keep track of the bouillon cubes, unlike me. Uh, I just lost them. But you gotta make sure that they are all the way, that they are all the way, there's one. You gotta make sure that they uh, render down all the way. And now all it is is uh, just kind of waiting for this to reduce down so that way it gets pretty thick to a nice thick gravy. Keep stirring it. Now that it's uh, it's thickened up a little bit, you can see it's you know uh, it's thicker. It's still pretty watery, but that's fine. It's going to be in the oven. Uh, we're going to put it on the steaks. Oh yeah, just pour it on. Just pour. Just pour everything on. Pour everything in there. Lots and lots of uh, gravy. It's like. If you can, just com just completely submerge them like that. Trust me, it's uh, it's very much worth it. Save that because you're gonna use it to make any kind of vegetables. If you're a vegetable kind of person, that is, uh, but like cook your vegetables in that it gives them a really great flavor. And now we're going to uh, put this in the oven, 350 degrees, 30 minutes. It's ready. All right. Need to get this out of the oven. A little bit of veggies we're making for it. Don't worry about that. Ooh. Oof. Oh man, it, it smells super good. Okay, everyone, here we go. That is a delicious Salisbury steak. Of course, we can't really say it's delicious until we try just a little sample, so. It's so freaking good. The mushrooms really absorb a lot of flavor, and um, the onions are caramelized and delicious. But the the mushrooms, they they don't even taste like mushrooms anymore. They taste like delicious. That's what they taste like. But yeah, take this, serve it with uh, some vegetables or maybe on some uh, mashed potatoes or something like that. It's absolutely amazing. Anyways, that's all I have today so uh thank you for watching everyone i uh, truly do appreciate it. don't forget to like come subscribe all that good stuff hit that bell button go check out my twitch if you want to do that or whatever i stream whenever the heck i feel like it and uh yeah i'll see y'all next time goodbye